Hey YouTube, what's going on? Robert here. Hope the lighting's all right. As you see, I got an acoustic guitar. It was given to me. It's not in a great shape, but it is what it is because it was free. And you can tell I still have a lot of stuff around me. I'm working on my my bruiser right there and my RC collection and I own the Tamiya bruiser from 1986 and as you could tell let me lean the right way it's got the tires on it right here right there and I'm getting adapters to put the 1.9s on them. I have, excuse me, I have a clone one like that. And I put the RC4WD axles on it. And they've got the 1.9 steel alloy rims on it. And I was asked by a co-worker. He said, what GoPros do you have? And I told him, I have 1 through 8, but I don't have a 6. And I don't have a Fusion and a Max and a 9. But why he asked me, he said, what kind of tripods do you use? And I said, I have a couple. He said, miniature ones, easy to carry, easy to get to. And I told him, if you buy an 8 or whatever GoPro, you can have this. And it extends. And... He thought it was a great idea, and then I showed him a picture of this. It bends. That was what I got when I bought a kit, and it came with that. And then I have this one for my other GoPro, and it has these. As you can tell, it goes real tall. And I was at a thrift store and saw this for 99 cents. So I bought it. You loosen this up and it moves. So I try to keep that. This spins. This spins so you can get that. That thing that bends. You put that any which way you want. So what I try to do is try to make it like that. And put that in back and then lock it and leave it sit there that way when I'm doing a video I got to use my GoPro I have it so it can back up on me and then lock it and I told him about this one that was broke that I filled this up with glue to put a GoPro mount on there but then I showed them some on Amazon to get some of them are really coming up now and some of them are junk sometimes you buy a kit for all the GoPros and they come with them cheap ones like I said this was in a kit I got a lot of GoPro pieces you know they're not marked GoPro but I think everybody buys them because they're twelve ninety five for like a hundred pieces and I just use them and I even told him about this this was for a serious radio to mine on your window and you can turn it every other way as you could tell I drilled some holes in the GoPro thing when you buy them I zip tied it I showed him that. I showed him my magnet one that I use some glue to put that on. So when I fix my cars, I'm going to be using that. And I'm going to do some videos on my cars. Because right now, my car needs a steering pump. And I got the steering pump. I just got to get it put on. My blazer needs a tune-up. And I got to fix the hinge. And it's freezing cold out. It was two degrees when I left for work this morning. And 
it's not getting any warmer. So as of now, my Jeep's fixed, my Expedition's fixed, not my Blazer and Taurus. The Blazer tuned up, Taurus needs a steering pump, but when I do the steering pump, I'm going to put some rear struts on it. It looks like it's sagging, so I think they're going to need... The steering pump only cost me $45, probably less. RockAuto.com, not sponsored. Uh, my rear struts, everything's going to be a buck twenty-nine. dollars uh, I don't mess with the steering pump because it has to do with the belts and all that. I got a brother-in-law... I love to death because he helps me with cars and we have a great relationship and I'm gonna probably do the rear struts myself because it's three bolts on the top hammered them off of the axle boom put them back on the same way done now my blazer I'm gonna be doing the tune-up I just gotta put where the uh, spark plugs go I, I put that in and then it started getting cold out, so I didn't take the straps off for the uh, spark plugs. I got the new wires for the spark plugs and the new spark plugs. The reason why it needs a tune-up, one of the spark plug wires has a hole in it, and it's making it not work. Meaning, when I start it, the check engine light comes on, and it's because of the spark plug. Now, the blazer I got. They all have this issue with the door hinges. Instead of being round, they go to an oval, and then the door goes like that a little bit. You can fix it. You buy a bushing and then weld in the rest. That's a project I'm going to be doing. And I'm hoping to get a garage because I want to film some more videos of me fixing my cars. And inside the garage, I can set up cameras to do stuff. What I have in store is making bumpers for my Jeep. I want to fabricate a rear bumper that has a hinge on it so I can take my tire off the rear gate and put it on a hinge mount bumper. That means my gate in my Jeep will not wiggle and rust out. It has a little bit of rust on it because of the tire. And I want to take that rear tire off of the back gate and make a mount on the bumper. So that's going to be coming up. But in the summer, when it gets warmer, I'm going to be doing bike rides again. And where I work, I might do a bike ride to work and do a video of it. And that's what I plan on doing. So again, you know, look at my house. It's like this because we're painting rooms. And we're fixing rooms. I got this house, but it needs a little work. So we're painting the rooms. All the white stuff's going to be brown, and the walls are going to be tan. So we have to empty out rooms. Right now, we're doing a room as a walk-in closet. So half of the stuff has to come down here that was in there. So I got clothes over here, clothes behind me that you can't see. I got stuff from in the room. It's a lot of stuff. You know, my house don't have cupboard, so I gotta make a cupboard. Over here is my food pantry where I got all my bike helmets, all my bike jerseys, and all my pads. And in my YouTube room I'm doing, I'm gonna make a workbench and then I'm gonna put some helmets and stuff in there and stuff like that. So it's gonna be upcoming. Everything you see around me is gonna be taken down. I got a bay window that's in front of me that you guys can't see. I have other things hanging up and it's just going to be taken down when I move my desk in the YouTube room and then buffet is going to be here. You know, so we're trying to do that and stuff like that and sorry guys, got an email. So, uh, you know, and it's just like that. And hey, let's do this. Dupe is a great cologne for men. Try to get it, and you'll like it. Not sponsored by Dupe, but it's a great cologne for men. Not sponsored. And I try to make videos as much as I can. I don't have pop-ups, I don't have any gimmicks, 
because I'm one of them guys that just want to put a raw video out with a message if there's a message entitled in there in the the video but right now it's just I had a couple questions going around at work about tripods and stuff and then my car so I figured I'd do a video about it and it's still I don't know how many degrees is up but it's it's a bitter cold outside in Pittsburgh and other than that I'm gonna be trying to do videos every day I can I got a new schedule I've been saying I got a new schedule and right now it's probably gonna be vlogs about me in this house because it's bitter cold out and I just want to inform my YouTube watchers that it's gonna be vlogs about me talking about things and probably more bike videos about my bikes in the house and we're gonna be doing that soon Tonight I just wanted to put a video out about me in my house getting done at work asking about tripods. And I do have another tripod I wanted to show you that I use and it's great. So hold on. I got it with a GoPro I bought. So hold on. Let me get it out of my camera bag. Can you say that I carry too much stuff. Sometimes when me and my wife go out, I take this bag. Right here is a tripod. Right here is that stick. My GoPro stick. Now, if you ever used a, go, uh, a tripod, they got them flaps, and then you pull and then you lock it in. If you buy a uh, tripod, Make sure they have a spinny thing to make it tight and loose because they work better and they don't snap like the ones you have to have a lever. These work better because you have to twist it to make it tight. I think it's in here. My wife got me this decaying thing and I love it. It's a camera bag that has a camera bag inside it that you could take out. My road mic I keep in there. This tripod right here, I got. It is a, a Targus one. And it bends. You can wrap it around stuff. Love it. I've used it on some shoots down in the south side of Pittsburgh. And it, it works out great for me. Now, I want to say I keep this in here. Simply because it comes in handy. It's another old, it's another selfie stick. It goes pretty big. And it takes a GoPro thing. And I use this a lot. Now mind you, when I do my videos with my wife, I normally don't carry all this. This little bag in here comes out. So what I do is I put one or two GoPros in it and then carry it with some uh, tripods and stuff. Because I, I even carry electrical tape in here. I carry an extra GoPro head mount in here. You know, because you never know when you're going to need it. This bag's not light by the thing because I have that shoulder mount I keep in here. The thing that goes over your shoulder and you can put the camera there. But any hoop, the video is about the tripods because my friend says he checks out my videos and I told him I would upload a video talking about tripods. So hey if you're watching I hope you like the video. You know and I just wanted to put it out there because you know people 
Some people don't subscribe to my video and they watch my videos, which I appreciate. I, I appreciate everybody who watches my videos. And the Lake Tahoe game is on with uh, Flyers and the Bruins. So, yeah, I'm filming tonight. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is. I don't know if I did enough tripod in here, but that's what I had close by. I mean, I got real taller ones over there, and I just didn't want to bring them out. You know, too much to move around because I'm cluttered right now. So, hey, give me that thumbs up if you like my videos, and hit subscribe. And I want to thank every one of you who hit subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much for subbing my channel. I appreciate it. Remember, I do this with no sponsors, no nothing. I do this because I like to be creative. And my creative side is way beyond what I do here. I can't add pop-ups. I can do all that. I can add camera tricks. It's just... To go to edit all that is going to take me time. And my schedule kind of hits or miss on edit days. So in the summer, I'm going to film. And then the next day, I'm going to put that all towards editing the videos. So they're going to come up probably every other day because i got to take a day to edit the video. So it's going to be video film video edit the next day post video edit post so i'm gonna hit it that way because then i can be creative a little more like i said i got them guitars i'm still learning my friend comes over when he can and that's going to be inserted i'm learning how to add music to my videos that i insert that I gotta put to my computer. I need the program to put my guitar to my computer so that's gonna be another learning curve and that's gonna be another piece of equipment I gotta buy. As of now I got wires, I got my GoPro little tabs, I got extra uh, uh, USB ports and it's just you need crazy things. I thought about getting a boom mic for my YouTube room, but this little camera I got does enough mic for me. Until I get my room done, this is going to be great for where I'm at. But in my GoPro room, I might be getting the mic boom. Just because I might want it to be right here so you can hear me a little better, whatever it might be. Again, I'm rambling at the moth. You know what it is. Just me making a video. and Give me that thumbs up if you like my videos. Hit subscribe and you know that little bell wherever it is. If it's down here, over here. Make sure you hit that and hit notify me every time I upload a video. and you, You'll get all my videos. But till then, keep pedaling and send it. Ride it out. Wherever my mouse went, I gotta shut that off. Have a good night.